How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. if I pull this plug. Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull off? Oh, move there! I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here. Here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish.
Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre men sing, they are better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Oh, if only I, Pierre, had the perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. What's wrong with the egg that's on it? The egg? It is too roly-poly. But I suppose it will have to do. Unless, of course, I could get the perfect accessory, a blue-tailed Joey bird feather. That would look beautiful, Pierre. Right up, gills and buoys for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Hurry, hurry, guppies, ladies and gems. Step right up to Gil Barker's world famous floating fun. Just four purple sea urchins get you inside. That's right, if you've got four purple sea urchins and you can hit the broadside of a barge, you can win an amazing fun house mirror like this one here. Groupers get group rates. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. Excuse me, but I think you've got something rather large caught between your teeth. Silly boy, those are my teeth. I mean, my tooth. Only 1% of Lady Narwhals ever grow one, so that makes me rather special, don't you think? Well, to tell the tooth, I, I mean the truth, I mean, uh, I'm sure that as Narwhals go, you're right up there. Look, Freddy, it's a purple sea urchin. Got it. Mm. These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. Ah. <laughs> what? That tastes horrible. If we can find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. Gee, that fish looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. When I want to go down to the bottom of the sea, I go swim around at the bottom of the sea. Won't you come join me? Oh, at the bottom of the sea. Down here. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Don't go swimming too close to my door down in the deep blue sea. I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse than his bark will ever be. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Well, I'm down deep into the murky sea. Well, that's where you run into me. I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue. I'll make you feel so cool. Oh, oh.
Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here, and I'll hang on to it for later. Good work, Luther. The well peppered mine. Whoops, I mean, well prepared mine. Hard work pays off. Truer words were never spoken. They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. We can change the kind of sound the organ makes. Look, it's one of the golden pipes. You're right, but how can we get it out of that glass case? Looks like a tough case to crack, if you ask me. Oh, Luther. Those purple sponges move the golden pipe farther away from us. It looks like the orange sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. We should probably try a different key if we want to get past that rubber stopper. Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. That's not the direction we want to move. Outstanding! Uh-oh! The golden pipe bounced off that rubber stopper. I don't think that's the way we want to go. The golden pipe can't move that far backwards. We want to move the golden pipe towards the chute, not away from it. All right! That's the idea! That rubber stopper is stopping us from getting that golden pipe. Keep it up and we'll have that golden pipe out in no time. At this rate, it'll take forever to get the golden pipe out. Hmm, we're not moving the golden pipe very fast. I don't think that's the way we want to go. Way to go! Maybe we can get the golden pipe past that rubber stopper if we try a different key. Great! Wow, we're really on top of this. That rubber stopper is stopping us from getting that golden pipe. We're on the right track. I wonder if the color of the key we press matters. That's not the direction we want to move. This seems to be working. Maybe we can get the golden pipe past that rubber stopper if we try a different key. Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? Ah, the sweet smell of success. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Zoggy to pick up the scent. Nine drum rhythms we can play. 
The organ knows a lot of songs. to record a song before we can listen to it. There's nothing recorded. It's recording. We can record nine songs. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. It's so dark in here, Freddy. I'm scared. I'll protect you, Luther. It's a drain plug. It's a plastic shovel. It's a drain plug. It's so dark in here, Freddy. I'm scared. I'll protect you, Luther. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh... Hmm. It's a purple sea urchin! Good work, Luther. Look, 
Freddy. It's a Snoopy Pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say Snoopy Pop. Snoopy Pop. Snoopy Pop. Snoopy Pop. Club. What do you two want? Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipes. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't notice, but this is the Bullies Club, and I just happen to be... The President! <gasps> it's a drain plug. If I were a big strong bully, you'd give me that flashlight. Ah, you don't scare me. Even my breath is stronger than you are. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Now, thanks. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. Push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. <sighs> Don't let up. We're doing great. <sighs> Just a little further, and we'll have this log in position. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. <laughs> Luther, I think we need to find something else. 
house for that blue-tailed joey bird to cuddle with if we want to get that golden pipe. Look at the feather from a blue-tailed joey bird. It's beautiful, pretty. <laughs> Good job, Luther. Everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. Think of the show so far. to love them. What do you 
you think of the show so far? All right! <laughs> Give it up, folks! Let's hear some applause! Pierre, we found a beautiful blue-tailed joey bird feather. And we thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. You can't keep that roly-poly egg. Voila! It's a magnifique. A purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, uh, having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away.
We finished the level! In appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous Floating Fun is proud to present you with this a fantabulous Funhouse Mirror Replica. There's no time for that now, Luther. Thanks, Kill. Joey Bird happier than that golden pipe ever was. President of the Bullies Club, I command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. Flashlight as long as you want. 
in here, but I think I have something that will help us see. This flashlight will add some light, Luther, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Who, me? I wasn't afraid. <laughs> Freddy, there's a golden pipe in here. Way to go, Luther. We did it, Freddy. We found all three golden pipes. Come on. Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. Old Soggy! The thief! A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Uh-oh. Hey, what happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel and, and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Luther. Luther! Shh. Oops. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. <laughs> That's a gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. It's a chisel! I should hold on to this. It might come in handy. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Hey, the crystal grew back. Oh, it's beautiful blue. 
could really come in handy. If only I could break it loose. Wow! Look at the light from this blue crystal. That could come in handy. I don't need any more blue crystals. green crystal. It might come in handy. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. That might come in very handy. I need to get Luther out. Right? Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. I have an idea. Drop this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. Pasha, if Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. It's unbelievable. The letdown of a lifetime. This is more disappointing than when the Plankton Circus came to town. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Please kill me! Please kill me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found this microphone. Which means the thief is... The evidence shows that the thief is none other than... The clue we found in the bag proves that the thief is... Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Gil Barker? No, I'm afraid you're barking up the wrong tree, half-pint. Now get a move on, get out of the way before you ruin my whole business day. 
Gee, if it wasn't Gil, then who's the thief? Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Nadine the Narwhal? A thief? What an utterly preposterous idea. Why, if you weren't so little and green and cute, I... I... Never speak to you again. Gee, if it wasn't Nadine, then who's the thief? Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Claw the Bully? Oh, no! The Claw ain't gonna get pinched for something he didn't do. I'm clean, I tell ya. Right down to my underwear. Gee, if it wasn't Claw, then who's the thief? Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Horst? Not was me. Gee, if it wasn't Horst, then who's the thief? Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Pierre the Tailor? I am Pierre the Tailor. Pierre the Genius. Not Pierre the Common Crook, you silly little green fish. Gee, if it wasn't Pierre, then who's the thief? Rosie Pearl, you're the thief. Ah, that could have been anybody's microphone in that bag. You ain't got nothing on me. <coughs> oh, no? <coughs> okay, so maybe you do have something on me. I confess, the great conch shell is a real crowd pleaser. I figured I could have a full house every night if I used it in my show. Maybe? But stealing the conch made everyone else unhappy. It's selfish to do something you want when it hurts other people. And it's just plain wrong to steal. I acted like a second-class entertainer. I am sorry. Here it is. The great conch shell. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. Oh, and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. Rosie was convicted of violating Penal Code 682 for wrongful conchnapping. She was sentenced to 4,231 hours of public service helping humor impaired fish to be funny. Case closed.
Are you all done playing with us? See you real soon!